Hello, good morning. It's Wednesday the 9th. I'm FX Plue, being chased by a truck at the moment through the park, but we'll crack on. Um, the NIESR has been on. Uh, that's the National Institute of Economic Social Research, and that's the oldest research institute in the UK. They've been pretty critical of the Bank of England for remaining reactive to inflation rather than getting ahead of the curve. Um, they predict that inflation will peak at 7% in April, average 5.9% uh, through 2022 and drop to 3.3% next year, based on a minimum of three hikes this year bedding in and bringing inflation back under control. Now, it has been a little while since inflation was a consideration in uh, pay negotiations, but that is very much the prospect of wage demands this year. That's despite Andrew Bailey asking so nicely for that to be averted. Real wages are falling while higher energy prices uh, and personal taxes are guaranteed to be too high a costs in the coming year. So higher wage demands will be hard to avoid. Uh, in the market, sterling is likely to remain reactive this week. Uh, yesterday it rose marginally in quiet trading. We saw 135.65 against the dollar and 118.65 against the euro. Over in the US, the trade deficit has reached new record levels in 2021. Um, that rose by 27% as, as uh, exports uh, continue to be dwarfed by imports. Uh, manufacturing has been outsourced to lower cost countries and US exports are based on technology um, and the service sector. The service sector indeed did help reduce the deficit, but that surplus fell by close to 6% in 2021. Uh, such a total reliance on Chinese factories is a concern, but Trump failed to reverse this and Biden isn't faring much better at the moment. Um, we have inflation data out tomorrow in the US. That's expected to be a major factor uh, in deciding the size of the Fed's first rate hike. So a higher reading here may well see the dollar advance as it will support a larger half a percent rate hike to kick off the new cycle. Pooh, that's a bright sun this morning. Yesterday, the dollar index drifted higher to uh, 95.75 uh, and euro dollar this morning. Well, that kicks off from about um, about 1.14.20. Right, that's it from me. Maybe Sunny's tomorrow will be the order of the day. Join me again. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.